Hey YouTube, here we go here. I've just stumbled onto something pretty disturbing on Twitter regarding the new Halo show that's supposedly coming out in 2020. Just look at it. I mean, it just seems like every time something big gets revealed or leaked or just talked about about the show, it just seems to disappoint me. And I don't know if I'm just expecting too much from the show or if my concerns are completely warranted. So whether or not this is actually true, and I will look into this to see if it is, but honestly, if this is true, it is a big mistake. I mean, every single piece of live action Halo footage has been canon up until now. In fact, every single piece of media has, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, except from maybe one episode in Halo Legends, Nightfall. Fall into dawn. All of the books, all of the comics, all of the games. <laughs> not not one thing is in canon. So for this show, this huge show, which has now been in development for well since the Xbox. Well, it's not really been in development since the Xbox One release, but it's certainly been a talking point since 2013, which has been six years now. It just doesn't make sense for this big of a project to then just be confirmed to not be canon, to be some sort of just off-brand copy using the Halo name. Not only that, but it's going to confuse new fans to the series that are going to come into the franchise with this show if it really takes off. I mean, think about it. Say someone watches this show like, oh, this is pretty good. Okay, there's like 30, 30 books out there. I'm going to grab some and read them. And then... The books are just going to straight away start contradicting the show. That's going to be very confusing for new people. For people to have to explain that, no, the show, the thing that got you into the series isn't actually real, isn't actually part of the canon. It's, it's faked. And not only that, but fans of the canon, which I'm sure the show was supposed to be the primary targeting audience, just aren't going to be as interested in even watching the show or aren't going to take any interest in it at all. I mean, look at Halo Cannon. The guy is probably the biggest fan of the lore or that we know of. This is what he said on Twitter. This show's pre-production is turning into a real roller coaster. I don't know if I can even be excited anymore. What's the point of a TV show and a transmedia franchise if it has no connection to the rest of the series? Correct. Absolutely correct. And just looking at the replies, everyone pretty much unanimous, unanimously agrees. Actual Halo fans want this show to be canon, want this show to be part of the story. And there's no reason why it can't be part of the story. There's no reason why... Okay, they said they want They say they want to um, make it really for TV. They want to adapt the story for TV. Okay, maybe that's true. But... There is so much unexplored story spanning the 20 years of the Human Covenant War that could be explored that are isolated from anything that has been explored before, from any games or books or comics or, or, or other live action series. They can make their own story and not have it connected and it would still be canon. That's what I don't understand. There's 28 years of story to tell. It, it, it doesn't make sense. So I'm hoping this is fake. I'm hoping this isn't real. I'm going to go and find the interview. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and find the actual interview that this image is referring to. Let me just pull up the image. Here it is. News. Kiki will kill 343 Transmedia boss confirms that the Halo TV show will not follow the main canon. Source. Kiki will will kill interview on the Game Maker's Notebook podcast. I'm going to go and find this Game Maker's Notebook podcast and see if I can track it down. And if I can, I'll insert it into the end of this video and link it in the description down below. But I hope to God this isn't gonna actually happen. Like, seriously, everyone watching this, go on Twitter right now and just explain, no, this is not what we want. This better not be true. I mean, there's probably not much you can do at this point if it is true because they're actually starting filming this, this, this month actually, and it's releasing next year, the first season. And if it's not canon, I don't see the first season kicking off, at least with the main Halo community, the people who are actually going to get this show off the ground. We're the ones that are going to be telling everyone else about the show and to watch it. We're the audience that are in it from the start, no matter if it is a piece of shit or not, which is why I don't understand why we're not getting catered to at this point. 
But like I say, I'm going to go and find this interview and put it in and put it in the description and put it in the end of this video. But that's all for me today, guys. Leave down in the comments if you care about whether or not the Halo TV show will be regarded as official canon. I'll be really interested to know. But other than that, like the video if you enjoyed. It helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe with notifications if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest videos as soon as they go live. I'll be covering all Halo news, big or small, so you want us to keep up with the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good one. There has certainly been financial success in video game adaptations, but it's hard for, for someone to say there's just been a, you know, knock it out of the park, great video game adaptation. I, I feel like I understand why now. Hmm. It's so hard. And my instinct is to keep hanging on to, to things as we know them. And we have such talent on the television side who's writing amazing television. And in letting go of some of those things, it's been really um, amazing to watch the story come to life in such a compelling way. And, and being okay with some of those differences in, in character or, or how very specific events of, of canon are dealt with, but make for great story and still adhere to the spirit of, of Halo um, has been really interesting.